Hello, Monsters of Anthem, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 5 of my Kugath, the Plague Bearer. Plague Bearer? No, Plague Pr the Plague Father, that's the one. Got there in. Um, so, I've been doing a bit of thinking about Nurgle buildings. I'm still not entirely sure about the infrastructure stuff. I think at best it breaks even, which I guess maybe you get more of the secondary resource, potentially. I think the problem with Nurgle is that it's just such a different system to anything else in the game. So it must be an absolute ball ache to balance. Um, but I think the sort of mixture of it being sort of like how you generate your units and also your economy, I think throws things off. Um, but with that said, the way you generate your units, I think is a problem, um, particularly when you compare it against some other factions. I mean, you still have the slight issue with uh, with Nurgle recruitment in the, and, and this is something that's that's always kind of annoyed me. But so let's say you want a, a great unclean one. So you're like, okay, that's fine. So if you want a great unclean one, of course you need to. I mean, for one, you need to wait until until you have a, a, a tier five. Oh, sorry, tier three. You get a tier three. Even then, you're only going to get one great unclean one every 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 turns. Every 21 turns, you get another great... Do you know how to... I mean, okay, okay you, you can start acquiring them, apparently, at tier 3. Which is definitely earlier than most other factions. And plus the fact that Nurgle has very good growth. But if, for example, you're corn and you want a bloodthirster, do you have the building? Yes. Fill your fucking boots, mate. How many do you want? How much money do you have? Have that money. If you want a great unclean one, well, here's one. Come back in 20 t 21 turns. If you've been a good boy, you get another one. Now, you can still get them at tier 3, which obviously is, is a lot sooner. Um, but you still need the, you know, the 10k outgoing for the fucking building in the first place. And the building slot to slap it in. But it's still an option, right? But still. But still. I mean... Every, you know, one every 21 turns... And obviously, the more settlements you have, you know, the more you can get, which is true of anyone. Um, the other issue that Nurgle has, of course, is, is his garrison. And uh, I... I mean, you, you do you do get the unwalled settlement, but still, the garrison is so arse. I mean, you get mostly Nurglings and three plague. You know, if, if an army walks up to this, you're fucked, basically. You, you ain't going to be able to defend that. It's just... It's just, it's just not, it's not very good, is it? It's not very good. Like, Nurgle. Thematically, yes, lovely. Like, a a actual actual practicality, not so good. It's just a very complicated faction with a lot of things going on. And I feel like they didn't really take a long time to balance it. He'll give you one. An STD. Not a question pact. Yes. We can be friends with all the rats. Yeah, I mean, it, and to be honest, I think Warhammer 3 was rushed, in my opinion. I think that's the main issue. The main issue was it was rushed. And I think Kugath, being a very complex faction, really just needed... I'm, I'm really hoping the next DLC will see a bit of an overhaul there. Because there's certain parts of, of, Nur of the Nurgle faction which really do need just a quite... A tweak. Just need a bit of a tweak. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, we're not going to hold that one, are we? That ain't happening. I mean, to be honest, my main worry is Gorst coming back. I do not want Gorst back. In any way, shape, or form. The big prick. 
Okay, I'm, what I'm, right, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is we're going to build this. You know what I would like to see is maybe a commandment that, like, increase cycle time based on the tier of the building. So, like, minus two cycle time at tier one, minus one cycle t time at, you know, tier two, no cycle time change at tier three, and, like, minus or plus one cycle time. So that way you spent longer at the higher tiers and, and less time at the lower ones, right? That would make more sense to me. Just in general, to be honest. Um, I mean, the recruitment one is, is a little bit more tricky because, of course, the, the quicker you get around that cycle, the better. So you, you want to be zipping around that, ideally, to get all the to get all the units. But at the same time, of course, it's, it's also reducing the amount of income you have. It's a bit tricky. Uh, right, we well, need the mucus runs, which is that one. So if we go that one and that one, what does that do? Oh, attrition suffered. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to slap that on you. Okay, we still got Imerick to deal with. So I need some more money. More growth? No, gro no, obviously more growth. Not that, you know, we're struggling for growth or anything. Okay. Oh, you've pooped out a camp there. Of course you have. You massive bastards. Okay, you're going to rebel in two turns. Two turns. Two turns of rebellion. Let us get... Ooh, Weapon Master. Mind you, eventually I'll turn you into Andrew Wakefield, so does it really matter? Okay, we'll get you. And uh, I can't afford anyone, so you're just going to have to sit there. Can't afford... Can't afford a thing. Right, we just need one more. Armor for... Ooh, I don't know. I mean, it's not... I mean, a little bit of armor is not really that useful. We're not really fighting humans. I mean, armor piercing weapon damage for Beasts of Nurgle is fine. Okay, sp spawn as well. All right. Good to know. I'm going to take that, that, and that. But I don't have enough. Hmm. 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 Life leeching. Uh, I guess. You know what? Soul blight, maybe. What I'm worried about is Imeric peering out of the fog of war with a stack of archers. That would be unpleasant. Right, I don't know what happened to... What was it? Thorg? Throg? Gad? Maybe my little ratty friends did a number on him. With any luck. I mean, they're also riddled with plague. But you can't have everything. Okay, how much are you guys going to cost? Not very much. Just as well, because you're not very good. But we're going to have to do that. And then, right, we need to stabilise this, because the last thing I need is Gorst popping back up. I'm hoping that maybe the amount of corruption means that he won't. I'm hoping it's going to be a Nurgle army. Ghost is back. Back again. Ghost is back. What a friend. Right. Need to deal with that. ASAP. Before it becomes... Too much... Last thing I need is Ghost cropping back up. And making my life awkward. Alright. What fresh new text can we get? Uh, this? No. Die crusts. Ward save? Ex Ooh, explosive death heads. I mean, if I have head, 
I want it to be explosive. Cycle time for Rancid. We don't really have that. Uh, Rot Glorious Rot is quite nice. That's okay. I am going to go with this. We do have some exalted plague bearers. Uh, I need units that are like dirt fucking cheap. Not to mention that uh, recruitment for Nurgle is also ludicrously fucking expensive. I mean, he's basically a faction that has absolute arse economy and at the same time has like expensive fucking everything. This is what I want. I want gut rot. Let's give you that plague so we can spread a little plague. Uh, okay, you're not currently a threat, but trust me. Who the fuck are these guys? The Lazargs. As soon as I get my hands on you, oh, you're going to get it. Oh, you're going to get it. I'm not happy with you. You've dragged me all the way back from finishing off Imric just to deal with you. Okay, well, at least we've got some more cash coming in. Ish. Sort of. In a way. Right, first things first. You're dead. Get the fuck out of my way. And I need the money. You're also dead, mate. Uh, I also need the money. Okay. Right, are you happy-ish? Ha sort of. You're, you're sort of happy. Minus 10% attrition. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know how useful that's going to be, but thanks anyway, I guess. Uh, regener oh, regeneration for Nurgling is... Oof. Oof. I mean, I guess getting Pestilent Decay would be quite nice. It's a little Mortis engine effect. Uh, Rancid Visitations is just a, it's just always a good... It's just always a good choice. Like, there's, there's never a, not a reason to take it, in my opinion. Uh, more mobility, yes. Yes, this is what we want. Okay, I'm going to hope that Imeric just stays fucks off momentarily. I am going to upgrade you. Or do I? Mm. If I... Right. If I s save my pennies momentarily, I could upgrade my main building. That would give me more options. Admittedly, for things I can't afford. Which I guess at least is true to real life. I wish you sickness, but not. I will happily take your cash, Quick. Papa needs a new spore tree. Plague tree? Whatever the fuck our main settlement building is. A big tree, I think. Oh, someone killed them for me. Oh, good job. Bloody hell, Quake, was that you? Quake, are you are you off the chain, mate? Well, thank you. Is there anyone who wants to do a quick deal with me? I would much prefer to be your friend. Yeah, you are there. Look at that. Uh, how do you feel about clan whatever their faces? These guys. Is it this guy's? Oh, you do not like them. Okay, well in that case, I don't like them either. Now, now. I don't know. Great nah, who, who are you at war? Okay, you're with Okay, well, in that case, you can, you can fuck right off. You can fuck right Also, I need to do Kugath's quest battle, don't I? Need to do his quest battle. How much money can I get from sacking this? Oh, now that's 
that. I mean, we've already got enough money, but... I mean, there's no harm in having a little bit more money, is there? Can't say no to that. Ah, uh, any mini money? No. Oh, goodness me, you've got a lot of ogres. Oh well. Well, I did want to try out those new explosive death heads, and, um... Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty effective. <laughs> I mean, it's probably a waste to use it on Noblars, but, you know. For science! How many shots do you have? I mean, you've got a fair few shots. You can get get some shots off there. It'll be fine. And even the Ogre Bulls there will get... Uh, yeah, pretty... Uh, pretty ruined by that precursor. Also, they get toxic rain. They will charge into the Exalted Blade Bearers there, but the Exalted Blade Bearers, of course, are pretty killy with the 81 weapon strength, which is fairly ludicrous. Uh, 52 melee attack, 44 melee defense, only 35 armor, and of course, 20% uh, physical resistance and a 7% ward save, which will make them fairly tanky. But of course, the major bonus we have is the fact they've got shit tons of health and uh, that we can heal the literal balls out of them. These guys do have some iron guts. And of course, the Ogre Balls are anti-infantry. So far, so good. We've managed to uh, lodge ourselves in this little, little choke point. Just making our life a little bit easier. You see the Exalted Plague Bearers hacking their way through those Ogre Balls. No problem there. There's Bilius. He's getting stuck in as well. Last few units now joining the fray. Meanwhile, the wolf rats are coming around the outside, around the outside. Ideally to try and uh, get some chart because we've got a few units of Noblar Trappers wandering around. I was hoping to wipe them out. Alternatively, the wolf rats getting into the rear of these ogres. I mean, they will actually do quite a lot of damage to ogres. Isolated units of ogres will get shredded by the wolf rats. Swift attacks, reasonable melee attack, and uh, that weapon strength as well. I thought they had armor piercing. Do the allied wolf rats not get armor piercing? They should have armor piercing, shouldn't they? Did they change that? I thought the normal ones got armor piercing and the uh, or maybe it was magical attacks I thought they got armor piercing oh well never mind they'll still do a lot of damage when they get in there lads go on nom 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 tasty see the ogres getting look how fast their health goes down and thanks that charge on our right flank, and the Plague Toads also throwing themselves into combat there. We get a bit of a rout on this flank as the Ogres start to fall back. Over here there we can see the Plague Drones and uh, Adidas ripping through a unit of Noblars. Now the main, the main Ogre attack is on our left flank, but as you can see, as the Ogres on the right flank decide to start retreating, some Ogres here look like they're trying to chase the Wolf Rats, but once the Wolf Rats turn around and start just chewing on them from every direction, their health is going down very, very quickly. Now, our Exalted Plague Bearers can get those shots in. The Death Heads. And suddenly, things are not looking so good. Uh, you can see that we've been healing up our lads very... And you, can, you can see they've maxed out their health. They've taken a lot of damage. However, they have also almost killed 100 Ogres and have you know, held the line as well. Kugath also bolstering that front. Lots of death heads now raining on those tightly packed ogres and the wolf rats charging in, backed up by the plague drones, sweeping on into this blob of ogres. And that's going to be causing a lot of panic amongst them if they realise they're surrounded. You can see they're not super happy about that. Uh, 
And the Ogres are starting to flee the battlefield, causing a wave of panic until even... Even the bravest of their number have decided to flee back from whence they came. And of course, being a settlement battle, all of these guys are dead. Easy. You know what? I will sack you. Because I want the money. Right, that's what you get. That's what you get. No, I'm going to keep it myself. That is what you get. Oh, you got Flayed Rock. Oh, this is part of that. Oh, well, I guess I could give this to you. Uh, tell you what. I'll keep it for one turn. And then I'll give it to you. And this time, I'm going to make sure I give them the right fucking settlement. Father's oration. I mean, that's not bad. It's a nice, it's a nice little buff. It is a nice little buff. Um, I am gonna go with. I think I'm just gonna give us, yeah, more armor. Just, just make our lads a little bit more tanky. All right, the facts. Could get rid of you. You know what? I'm I'm going. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him. We're also going because we've got one turn and we got enough growth. So that's we're just gonna save that. How much is this gonna be? Six thousand. That's eight thousand. I think we're gonna upgrade the settlement first. I think that is. That's just the the better option, isn't it? Temperate strain. Uh, I mean, do we actually have much temperate? I guess that's temperate. I guess that's temperate. I guess that wouldn't be the worst choice. I mean, kids love infection is completely fucking useless. Uh, Forsaken and Spawn of Nurgle. Um. Well, maybe. Weapon strength of attacking, plague duration, rot, glorious rot. You know what? Let's just grab that because it's just a, a general good option, isn't it? Just across the board. Right, we're going to make you hard to hit. And you are going to be... Uh, I think we're going to be blade shields. And then we're going to save our pennies. And why are we going to save our pennies? Because... We're using our noggin. And we're going to upgrade the capital first. What gifts do you bring? Better be good. Uh, you see, no. No. You're, you're always Drashoth, and I need to keep that guy on side. At least for the moment. I mean, later, I may change my mind. Talking about changing my mind, hello. Okay, Greasus is there. That's... I mean, it's, it's mostly ogre... Ogre balls. It's mostly ogre balls. Boop, boop, boop. Right, we're going to upgrade this. How long is that going to take? Three turns. And then we can upgrade this as well. So that's going to give us more money. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, we can be friends with you. You're also at war. With Greasus. Although Greasus is also... Okay, that's not good. Uh, problem is, you, will, you, will, you can march down here. You can march down here as well. Okay, I think we're going to have to ambush it, because I, I I, can just see... Th this is a problem. This is a problem I don't really have a solution to. We'll move you back. Okay. 
Okay, right, right. No, look, it's no problem. It's fine. Just we need to we need to kill us some ogres and quickly. Drowns off. What's up, mate? Uh, no, I'm no, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm gonna be honest. I thought you were doing quite well for yourself. It looks like you are getting your ass kicked. Okay, you didn't blunder into us. Where the fuck are you? I'm still... I'm still not super happy about it, but I will scooch up here and grab this. We're also not far from the Great Hall of Greasus. Uh, leave an occupy. Okay, I'm hoping... Keep for us. I'm hoping the vast majority of his forces are, like, over here or something. So, that's the dream, anyway. Okay, let's make sure we give him... Right, it's Shambletown. Shambletown. Oh, you want... you want Shambletown. Well, I want to give you Shambletown. I mean, get some of my money back. I really could use that money. You piece of shit. Uh, right. Do we want to... I feel like sa saving money. Hmm. I think we need to save, save the cash. I'm going to get this simply for the chance of plague spreading. And then we're going to pop a plague on you. What do we need for this? Gut rot. Cheers that one. So, if I take that. More attrition, play duration. Slap that on you. And with any luck, that'll, that'll spread a little bit. Oh, I want a Gate of Dug. What can I get? Level 30. Next level. Right, next level. You get 14 as well. That gives you the Chaos War Shrine, which gives us a big heal. Do I want Grimtop? Uh, you know what? I might I might give it to the Ratties. Because that way they can protect me from my numerous and angry enemies. And holy shit. I mean, I haven't even started. I mean, Cathay hasn't even, hasn't even started going at me yet. Is this... Yeah, I mean, you're not happy. But you're not about to rebel and respawn Ghost. Which is good. I haven't actually checked what we could recruit. What have we got? I mean, we've got a, we've got a bunch of stuff. I like the fact they've given the, the mortal units to Kugath now because uh, I just remember when the game first came out and we played like a big uh, what was it like six eight player multiplayer or something I was playing Nurgle and because we were auto resolving the fights I lost so many units I literally ran out of units to recruit I didn't even have Nurglings like I literally I, I could not recruit anything else I had to rely on allied recruitment because I had nothing else which was fucking insane. So the fact that you've now got slightly more options means you're you're less likely to run out of units, which is 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 good news. Is good news, but still, uh, we need to we need to really lay into into Greasus. Take him out, remove him as a threat, and potentially give these settlements to our Skaven allies because there's not really any any big settlement here that we can get. Um so I don't really know if it's going to be that useful. Because, you know, we need the provincial capitals, really, to get the, you know, the big boys. So we, you know, get more than one great unclean one every 21 turns. That'll have to wait until next time, though. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.